Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this one, I wanted to quickly go over packet analysis and sniffing, what it means, and talk about some tools. Now, all of you probably know about Wireshark. That is one of the most widely known tool uh, in the world today. And if you're coming from the Linux background, you probably know about the TCP dump as well. But there might be some other tools that you haven't heard. And uh, I just want to give you some ideas that there are Workshop is not the only one. There are other tools as well that you can use. So very briefly, what is a packet analysis? Okay, this is a very, very important for if you're a network engineer, if you're a cybersecurity person, uh, if you are a developer, okay, because your packet, it has to go through the network from one place to another. And in the whole world, we are running in a client server model and you want to validate and verify you know if you package there there is any problem anything anything happening to, to your network or even for suspicious activities if somebody downloaded some stuff okay and even for extraction or even for validation so if you have to develop an application you want to validate that your encryption is working properly your packets cannot be sniffed all of that can be done using uh, a network sniffer okay so really, uh, the process by which one can analyze your network packets to review packet characteristics, encapsulation, encapsulation and flow. And this seems maybe simple, maybe complicated, but what it really does, and, and the, the reason uh, Warshak is so popular, it captures each packet and it numbers them like a one, two, three, four, five, six, and you can go to each individual packet and you can look at the packet its encapsulation and what's really there in the OSI network layers for one particular packet. So let me just open up uh, a Wireshark. Let me see if I have an example packet. Some uh, remind me later. Let me see if I have any uh, example. There is nothing in here. So if I don't have here, let's just go to Cloud Shark example packet okay let's just go to cloudshark.org so cloudshark is uh, your web shark in the cloud okay so what you're seeing uh, you can download any of this packet okay and open it with your workshop that you have uh, in your local machine but for example this packet ipv6 is only one packet but if you look at the frame okay so this is your uh, wayside layer one that is Ethernet 2. Then uh, here is your uh, uh, internet uh, protocol, so layer 3. And uh, this is the ICMP. This is still layer 3. So there is no uh, TCP layer for this particular packet. So what you can do, you can do uh, Cloud Shark uh, TCP packet. And let's see if I can go and find a. Uh, so here it looks like I have a TCP stream, whole bunch of TCP packets in here. So if you go to the TCP packets, uh, some of the TCP packets, they will have, again, your uh, packets, this is the IP, IP, then here's the TCP protocol. And look at the kind of information that you get, your port, destination port, uh, sequence number, you know, you can look at the handshake if they're happening properly. I mean, you can learn unbelievable amount of information from uh, this kind of packet analysis. Okay. Like over here, if you see when the packet we are starting, we have seen SYNAC ACK. That is the three-way handshake. And let's see if they have a teardown. I don't see the teardown, but uh, at least you do see the SYNAC ACK. Uh, that starts the whole flow and here's the client hello in the server hello for the TLS all right so packet analysis you can do it in two modes you can do a live mode okay you probably have to have admin privileges to uh, go to the network and another thing uh, you want your network card to be in a promiscuous mode so that packet even they're not distinct for your network is also captured and not uh, dropped okay uh, that's all right uh, and, and as i said you can also analyze analyze the pre-captured packet and just uh, as we saw that from 
you know the cloud shark which is a cloud version of the war shark you can do the analysis you can do it from your war shark as well uh, let's going back so i want to talk about some more tools and these are known as the sniffers okay war shark keen and apple kind of for noodles inside they're all sniffers they sniff the network tab traffic so they don't do any modification to the tra traffic but when the traffic flows through these sniffers you can analyze and understand all the information now one of the one sniffers network sniffer earlier one is on kn and apple which is mainly developed for the windows and this particular tool is really really good at cracking passwords it can even sniff the network voice over ip conversations and uncovering cast passwords okay so do some research on this tool uh, online and then there are two other tools they were really built for huge network traffic analysis like uh, traffic analysis with isps okay so one of them is the uh, carnivore which was later uh, replaced by uh, noodles inside okay so if you go to the first one let's try to go to the first one uh, so the first one, if you see, the API implements the carnivore to monitor the network. It was like in 1997, uh, they, the FBI, they used this particular packet, and I'm just going to referring to this particular site. Uh, so that was the original carnivore. The carnivore system was a Microsoft Windows-based workstation with packet sniffing software and a removable disk drive. Okay. Now, if you go to the other link that I have given you. Okay, so you will see the more uh, later in 2005, so from 1999, now we're back uh, five or six years. Now, FBI, they replaced the carnivore with a commercially available network monitoring software, Noodles Inside. Even this software is today is actually deprecated. It's not there, at least when I saw, I didn't see that uh, they have active development. But uh, there were some that were used by even, uh, you know, uh, defense and intelligence agencies. Uh, another one is a DSNIF. DSNIF is really a collection of tools for the network auditing and pen testing. And it really includes the DSNIF, file snarf, then mail snarf, uh, message snarf, URL snarf, and web spy uh, to passively monitor a network for interesting data. And what is interesting data? Uh, it could be a password, emails, different kind of files, things like that. And here is a link, and I'm going to give you all the links uh, to you, so don't worry about it. So this one is the main page for the DSNIF. You can look at the documentation, read about it, and there are some uh, recent press releases, although they are almost uh, 20 years uh, back old. But you can read through some of that and see what uh, this tool can do. All right, uh, some more tools. Okay, EtherCap. EtherCap was, uh, it's, uh, if you have a Kali, Kali machine, this has come as default, installed uh, this this tool. It has a compre comprehensive suite for the man in the middle attack. Okay. It can also feature sniffing of live connection. So you can uh, do a live sniffing using this particular tool. Uh, TCP dump is probably, if you're a Linux guy, you probably already know about it. Uh, and again, you can let's let's just go to the EtherCap website real quick and, and just show you this is the uh, main uh, project here. You have downloads, and if you how you do want to get involved, and what you can do, you can read a lot about them from this side. Uh, the last uh, couple of tools that you probably already know is the Weshark, uh, it's the, probably the most well known tool, and I have already done one video on that how to install it, how to use it. And I'll keep doing more videos to show you different features of Wireshark. Another tool that is pretty useful as a Windows-based tool called the Microsoft uh, Network Monitor. And you can go to this particular website and download this tool. And with this one, you have to run it as a administrator. And you should be able to capture network traffic and, you, and do protocol analysis. Also a very useful tool although, uh, you know, it's not uh, actively developed anymore. All right, so, so, so that's the end of this particular video. I just want to show, give you some example that Warsaw is not the only one. There are other tools out there that you can use. 
and say based on your in call maybe uh, another tool might be better uh, than just a washer in every single use cases okay and i'll give you demo of some of the other tools in other videos but for this one just get familiarize yourself with the different tools have some fun with them and thanks for watching this video thank you